Okay, so this video is impact. Oh, no, this video is the global climate from IB Geography, and the syllabus point is impacts of climate change on people and places, including health hazards, migration, and ocean transport routes. So, these are the three subtopics: health ha health hazards, migration, and ocean transport routes. And then I'm going to go through each one. So, firstly, health hazards. So, climate change can result in more heat waves and droughts, which can lead to heat stroke, dehydration, and aggravate any cardiovascular and respiratory illnesses. It can lead to more flooding, storms, and more intense wildfires. That can lead to property loss, infrastructural damage, water contamination. It may also lead to injury, mount mental health problems, death, and waterborne illnesses. Decreased air quality because of increased green greenhouse gas pollution it can result in increased pollution and allergens. It can exacerbate health problems such as cardiovascular and respiratory illnesses and trigger allergy-related illnesses. It can also exacerbate respiratory conditions such as asthma and emphysema. Increased precipitation and seasonal change from climate change can really can can lead to vector borne diseases increasing and it can also increase the geographical range and change the vector behaviors to make them even more dangerous for kind of more susceptible groups who maybe haven't ever encountered them before. Sea levels can rise from climate change that can exacerbate the occurrence of storm surges and flooding that can have social impacts such as stress, anxiety, trauma, food and water contamination or shortages which can result in undernutrition or malnutrition. There's also the possibility for increased frequency and intensity of storms so because there, and then there may be increased prevalence of waterborne pathogens and contaminants such as cholera and malaria, disruption of health services and power outages. Finally, prolonged droughts and more wildfires from climate change can lead to mental health issues such as stress, anxiety, trauma, food and water shortages, which can result in dehydration and undernutrition, and also food insecurity may also lead to issues such as um, forced migration too. So this diagram shows how rising temperatures can have all of these different effects, extreme weather, then this is all the health effects, air quality, vector borne, and they all kind of do interlink. So this is a good representation of the health hazards that can come about from climate change in terms of people and places. Okay, and then we have migration. So what is a climate refugee or an environmental migrant? So they are people who are forced to leave their home region due to a sudden or long-term change in their local environment. So these are changes which compromise their well-being or secure livelihood. Climate refugees may choose to flee or to migrate to another country or they migrate internally within their own country. So as an internally displaced person, um, which is part of the population topic okay so here are some different factors so climate dependence people who depend on certain climates and have adapted to this such as in the Himalayas where they have these very natural skills um, that allow them to live everyday life and they also have very strong cultural and historical ties with a certain area can be very much impacted by the um, consequences of climate change Drought can lead to a lack of water water sources that can be harmful to agriculture, leading to undernutrition and economic issues. Vulnerable places are the Sahel, places surrounding the equator, South America, the Pacific Islands, Southeast Asia, um, where tropical silo cyclones have taken place in Samoa, flooding in the Philippines, and drought in Afghanistan. There's also the case of rising sea levels, which creates the need for people to relocate if they live in low-lying areas such as the Maldives and Indonesia. Overpopulated areas such as Bangladesh will suffer because the, these kind of close, these high population densities can make waterborne disease a higher risk. Power outages are very common because of the kind of strain on resources, scarcity of resources, undernutrition and unemployment. Finally, there's the case of extreme weather, such as hurricanes and typhoons, which can create damaged infrastructure, meaning people must relocate to find a new home and employment. So these are the kind of, the kind of links that can form between climate change and migration and the creation of climate refugees or environmental migrants. 
Okay, finally we have the Northwest Passage. So this is linking to ocean transport routes. Okay, so, and this is just kind of a good example to use. Okay, so the Northwest Passage is seen here from this diagram from the BBC. And basically, this is the Northwest Passage, which is a sea route um, that in past years has not been fully open because of all the ice surrounding it. Um, and this is can be used by mainly Russia, Denmark, Canada, and Greenland, Norway, and other countries for commercial trade. And climate change has led to glacial and ice caps melting, and that opens up opportunities for trade and tourism here. And this passage removes the need to travel through the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, and it provides shorter routes. And actually, the first commercial carrier first traveled in 2013 from Vancouver to Finland through this passage, and that saved $80,000 of fuel costs. So it may be better for the environment in some ways because less distance, less fuel. However, because it opens up a lot of possibilities, it may actually lead to more frequent travel and trade, so more greenhouse gas production. And it also destroys the habitats if all these ice caps and all this kind of biodiversity. And it has created a conflict because the US and Canada have this geopolitical conflict. The US believes this should be international. The Canada kind of saw this US use of the waterway as a war and they want it as their own sovereign water. Canada can make money from this through regulation and po policing. So it's a very disputed region and has a lot of different possibilities because of climate change. 